Tonight we are learning more about the explosion of gunfire early Sunday morning in the short north as Columbus police look for a growing number of suspects. Yeah, NBC4 talked to police leaders earlier today. Assistant Chief Lashana Potts tells us police now believe there were possibly four shooters involved and they are still trying to identify them. The gunfire left 10 people injured, all of the males ages 16 to 27. Now this was the 12th mass shooting in Columbus since the beginning of 2023 and it is sparking new questions about the city's violence prevention efforts. Today, NBC 4's Anna Hoffman went straight to Mayor Andrew Ginther for answers. Anna? Jen and Jared, a little more than a year ago, there was another mass shooting in the short north where 10 people were also injured. This incident sparked major policy changes from city leaders. At this time, there have been no new rules put in place, but city leaders say those conversations are still ongoing. So it's critically important that we remain vigilant. Columbus Mayor Andrew Ginther speaking out on camera for the first time since Sunday's mass shooting in the short north. He's making a plea to the public to speak up with tips and also to be a part of the solution. The police cannot solve gun violence by themselves. We need everybody else in this community to step up. We had a couple of teenagers that were struck. Uh, you know, 2 30 in the morning. Uh, you know, we need parents to step up. Columbus police now say there are possibly four shooters involved based on the shell casings they found at the scene. Sunday, a 19 year old turned himself in, identifying himself as the driver of the getaway car. Assistant Police Chief Lashana Potts says there were 16 officers working in the short north at the time of the incident. It's a very open and active investigation, so we're looking at all of our leads, tips, cameras. As of now, Columbus City leaders have not made any policy changes in response to the mass shooting. But Betsy Pandora, the executive director of the Short North Alliance, says they are meeting with Columbus police tonight to discuss what else can be done to improve safety. What do you hope to accomplish tonight? We really want to make sure that people have the opportunity to share feedback. And it's so important because there's so many um, people that have had an opportunity to experience some of these things. Columbus police claim overall violent crime is down, but the one outlier is an increase in mass shootings. When I asked the mayor about the trend, he placed much of the blame on state leaders. We can continue to invest and we're going to continue to work at this. Uh, we're, you know, we have to be vigilant. But it shouldn't be easier to get a gun than a job in the state of Ohio. And so what we need is leadership. The ATF is offering a $10,000 reward for any information that leads to an arrest in this case. Columbus police say if you have that info to contact them right away.